Hi, this is a review of the Singapore Math Primary Mathematics Workbook 1A, and we use the Standards Edition. This one has been well loved, as you can see. And when I was deciding what curriculum to use for my little homeschool uh, mathematician, I really wanted to see the table of contents and some examples in these books, and I couldn't find it, not until I bought them. So I decided that I would do these so that people could see what's inside. So uh, our six-year-old just finished this one, and she is in first grade. And this is basically the sections in this workbook. Now this is not the textbook. I will do another video on the textbook. This is the workbook. So we start with numbers 0 to 10, number bonds, addition, subtraction, position, first, second, third, numbers to 20, shapes, length, weight, and capacity. There's also a section at the end for math at home for each uh, section, which I kind of like. This is the workbook, and in this one, different from kindergarten, you don't see any color graphics in this one. These are just an example of what some of them, there's coloring that she did. An example of what some of the pages in here look like. Going a little further back here. So, uh, no colorful graphics in this one, though they do have colorful graphics in the textbook. I wish they would do the workbook with the colors as well, because this is the book that my daughter uses and has with her the most. Not, not uh, the textbook. Here's on length here, and height. Shapes were a little earlier than this, I think. Here we're into capacity, weights and capacity. The capacity section's fun, of course, to do in real, um, you know, physical containers with uh, cups and large jugs and water and different toys and things. We had a good time with that one. And then we have the math at home section in this book, which is different than the kindergarten one. So for each section, this one's Unit 1, Numbers to 10, they'll give you activities. So here's Unit 1 activities. Unit 2 activities. Number bonds. There's some more activities. And so on. Some for subtraction. Um, we like Singapore for our kids because it's very concept-based. Um, and it gives a lot of room for practice. In some cases, for our daughter, a little too much. I think with some of the addition, which she's been doing for so long now, it was um, the same over and over again. So we kind of skipped through some of the ones that uh, we knew she knew how to do so she would not get bored with the math. And we like to supplement with math manipulative. So whenever I can do a real-world application to something we're learning in here, we do. So um, overall, we love Singapore math. We're going to continue with this for our four-year-old and then our two-year-old and then our three-month-old when they're old enough. And, um, well, I, we really like it. We just got workbook B, or excuse me, 1B, which I will do a video on. And next I will do one on the 1A textbook, which accompanies this workbook and does have all of the color graphics in it that um, my kids like so much. Hope this helped you out.